Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about creating an Apex trigger um, that will basically create a new task. So we've got our tasks here on the right. So this is gonna create a new task every time the number of locations changed. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to go to Edit Object and just find the IP API name for that specific field. So number of locations. So inside of the account object, number of locations. Um, then I've got my Apex, Apex class here created already for create task. Um, if you're not sure how we did that, there is a video on this. So yeah, just go check that out. Um, basically all this is doing is just creating a new, a new task on the account. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna create a new Apex, sorry, not a class. We're gonna create a new Apex trigger. Um, and we just call this um, number of locations changed account. Might be a bit of a long name, but yeah, we'll just use that for now. So, um, first of all, yeah, let me just put that API name here because I'm definitely going to need that later. Um, secondly, we want to do a before update. Uh, maybe do an after update as well. So yeah, we'll just leave it like this for now. Worry about, worry about that part later. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we're just gonna need a set for the account. Um, so set account IDs equals new account, uh, no, 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 sorry. Equals new set ID. All right, so we're gonna use this as basically like sort of, if you're not sure what a set is, so a set is basically ID. Um, so we're gonna use all of these IDs for, for the list of accounts. Um, you'll see what I mean soon. <laughs> so we're just gonna create a new folder for accounts and basically every time there's an update, we want this to happen. So, just thinking about it, we'll need to do something like account old ACC uh, equals trigger dot old map dot get ACC dot ID. So basically what this is, this is just there to check, get the old value of the, the account, all right? So next step would be if, um, let's just call be that if old acc dot this field here so we want to check if this field um, does not equal the normal account acc dot that field um, number of locations then we want to do basically update our list okay so what i'm going to do is just put in account ids here dot add and now we're going to add in our account id here all right so basically all that's doing is just checking if this field has been changed so checking if the old value is not equal to the new value then we add it to the list of or not the list sorry the set of ids that we've got there at the top all right so now all we're going to do is um do a little check where we want to make sure there's values inside of the list, okay? So we're just checking if the size is greater than zero. And then from here, let's do a for ID, ACC ID, and use the account IDs. Then we wanna call our Apex class that we've got on the other side. So let me just go back to this task, uh, just close all of this other stuff that I've got open here. So we want to call this class name with the method, and then it's got three three uh, parameters here as well. So we need the ID, subject, and due date. So basically, we're gonna have to set that in here. So for, for the ID, that part is pretty simple because we're just gonna use the account ID that we've got um, from our list. Um, next thing that we need is the subject. So let's just call this task subject for now and 
and then what's the other thing? Due date. So for due date, um, we'll just make it pretty simple. We'll just make it date dot uh, today. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. So let's just have a look at that. Looks pretty good. Let's try and save that and see if we've got any problems. Uh, what's the problem here? Method that not account. Ah, oh, account IDs. I need to use account IDs because that's a list. So basically, what that error is saying is the list has to be greater than. Well, can't check the size that there's only one. So you need need to make sure you've got a list there. All right, sweet. So let's try this out quick. Go into my account. And details, let's update this number to 60 and just check if something happens. Oh yeah, um, what do we call, yeah, I think we just called it task subject, right? Let's see when this was created. Uh, yeah, created just now, sweet. And due date is today as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's just try a couple of things here. So back inside, back inside of the account, let's go to details and just update something else. Or well, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna de delete, or well, actually, not delete these ones. I'll go into a new one, I'll go into Dickinson. We don't have any tasks here. So just to make sure that the Apex trigger is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I'm just gonna update account site to one, two, three, four, oh shit. Three, four, five, five. Three, four, five, five. Update that. All right, so like you can see, nothing's happened here. Didn't create a task. So let's go and update the number of locations to four, save it, and boom, sweet, we've got our task created. So yeah, um, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.